Thank you, Brad. It's going to look a lot better if I bring all the parts to it. <laughs> I always, always, always forget something. We'll let some folks get on here about 8 o'clock. We will go through the late round cards. And we will go through a few of the early round matchups. I'm just scrolling through them a little bit now. Looking for some of the dogs that I know. Some of the handlers that I know. We do have in the seniors a uh, semi- Uh, repeat of the finals. I see that Slew Bottom Collar and Flat Rock Packing it Screamer drew each other tonight, so one of those dogs will not advance. So, yeah. A lot of good matchups tonight. Um, basically, about the same turnout as we had last night. Uh, there are 22 casts in both the seniors or the juniors and the sophomores and 20 in the seniors. So pretty good turnout. Nikki Jim, I'm glad my sound's working good. One of these days I'm going to get all this nailed down to a fine art. Just not today. And it's still rigged up behind me. So if it falls down <laughs> mid live feed, we'll worry about that later. I'm glad, Rebel. How's she working out? I know you said you had a love hate relationship with her, and that's about what I had with her. That is a good little dog. She's got a lot of tool. Very good track dog, too. Uh, she's really good on a good running track. A little junky when she was a baby, but not bad. She's going to want to have her coons for a while. But you never know about them. Hope you're here at Super Stakes with her next year and you win the whole thing. Wouldn't be the first time I sold a winner. I do love... I know two things about her. She's built as good as any female dog I've ever seen. We have three things. Uh, she's real good around the house. And she can tip a water bowl over like no other. I've never seen a dog who could get water out of her bowl and get that bowl tipped over like her. I think you could have made one out of concrete and she would have got it knocked over somehow. Drove me crazy. Even when you was hunting her hard, she would do it. I'd hunt her five, six nights in a row, put miles upon miles on her, wake up the next morning and the ratchet straps and bolts and everything. She She'd get them out and get her bucket tipped over. It was maddening. All right. That's folks on here. We've had good viewership this week so far, as we always do at Spring Super Stakes. Like I said, one of the marquee events of the year. Uh, had some interesting matchups in the late round last night. I have those cards in front of me. Uh, we will go over them, and we will talk about some of the early round matchups tonight here on Tuesday. Everybody still, of course, trying to get doubled up. Uh, some of my good friends doubled up last night, and I'm just envious of them. Always wanted to double up on a Monday, and it is hard to do, but uh, there's a whole stack of dogs right here that did it, so I know it's possible. <laughs> just not for me. It's been possible for a lot of other people. But yeah, we'll go through the early rounds first, or the late rounds first. Uh, these are the Claremont, Illinois cards. Uh, this is cast one john steber was the guide there heath man was the judge uh it is ryan Ryder advancing with mount pisca's short a penny uh looks like penny went 50 and 125 out of the truck and 25 and 125 out of the truck 
uh, treat two coons. Um, this is the sophomores, by the way. Um, JB with Heath Man, he was in the cast too. He treated a coon out of the truck for 200, but then took a tree minus. Uh, J.R. Wall, Nilsha River Roman. Uh, looks like he treated a couple den trees and all night Boone, Trevin, Dill, 100 and 125 plus out of the truck. And then he took a 25 minus as well. But yeah, good cast there. Looks like they scored one, two, three, four coons and Ryan Ryder advances. Uh, cast two, Shawnee Knowles was your judge. Scott Burden was the guide. Uh, this is also a sophomore card. It is Jake Renninger and Molly advancing last night. Uh, Molly treed one coon, 225, and that was enough. The only other dog to tree a coon was Shawnee Knowles and Clover. Uh, looks like he treed a coon and a circle tree. Uh, Scott Stinnett and T-Baby, they make a couple circles. And Justin White with Sackett uh, took 125 tree minus, and he withdrew. Uh, cast three, also sophomores. Uh, good buddy, Heike Yeager. He gets into the late round last night. Uh, but looks like Toker took him out of it a little early. Treat a slick out of the truck. That happens. He went on to tree a den. Uh, Heike went to withdraw or went and went ahead and withdrew. Uh, Steve Yant, uh, hunting seven. Of course, big brother's dog. Uh, he struck for a hundred and I talked to Yant earlier today and off he went. Uh, he said it wasn't a very big woods. Uh, seven hit the end of it and just kept going. Uh, he withdrew. Uh, and another good friend, a guy that you will see on Tuesday in the Elite Handler Series. Uh, Chris Saunders, Lone Pine, Flesh and Bone. She doubles up. Congratulations to Chris. Uh, she treated the only coon in the cast for 50 and 125. And she advances on to Friday night. Uh, no, Billy, I have not seen Steve Sykes. Up here this week. I've not seen his name. We're going to go through some of the cards. If I see it, I'll look, check it out. But no, I don't think Steve is here. I haven't seen him anyway. Uh, but Super Stakes is a little different. Guys are in and out. Um, Finley's been here two days. I just seen him tonight. Uh, guys get in here as soon as they can get their entries and they leave the clubhouse. And a lot of times they don't come back. They're going to satellite clubs and all that stuff. So, you know, it's a big, great big facility here, but it's pretty empty after draw out time. Uh, cast 104, Daniel Spurlock was the judge there. Uh, he was hunting Piney Creek Boomer. Uh, time is money, Chance Peters, Wipeout Trader, Dwayne Mil Middleton, and maxed out Lizzie Jared Graber. Uh, Lizzie is your winner there, 167 and a half. Uh, looks like they split strike out of the truck, and she went and treated a coon. The other three dogs took some minus and all with Drew, so congratulations there to Jared. Uh, also a sophomore cast. Uh, cast 101 out of Claremont. It is Tank's Best Ruby, Adam McGuire, Sundown Overtime, Troy Winningham, Toppers, Flat Rock Spec, Zach Burden, and the Pandemic Power, Mark Boska. Uh, Boska is your winner there, 300 plus. Dog Tree, two coons. Looks like it looked pretty good. Uh, 25 and 125 on two coons. Uh, Spec, uh, 225 on a circle tree out of the truck, and then he went and treated a coon. That circle has to hurt. Uh, it does hurt. Uh, that's painful when you burn that 100 strike up and you do not get it plussed up. Uh, over time, uh, took some tree minus and Ruby treed a circle tree as well. And so Mark Boska, Justin Reeves' dog, Mark Boska handling pandemic power. Justin lives not too far from me. Mark Boska up there in Iowa. Congratulations to him getting power in. Uh, cast two. Uh, in the seniors, it is a good cast. Andrew Goss with eight second ride, wipeout tank two, world champion wipeout tank two, Joey Craver, Grand River Trump, Rusty Jones, and that damn Brandy, Jed Finley. Uh, Andrew Goss was your winner there. He advances to a Friday night. He is 25 and 125 on a coon and 25 and 75 on a coon for a score of 250. Uh, tank two trees one coon for 175. Uh, Trump trees a slick. Rusty withdraws him. And that damn brandy trees 75 and 125 on a circle tree and 25 and 125 on a coon for a score of 150. So Andrew Goss is your winner there. Looked like they had a good cast. Uh, there was some talk about 
Randy Circle Tree and Jed done a good job on it, they said. <laughs> so who knows? I talked to Finley. It had a hole in it. It had a hole in it, he says. So yeah, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I'm guessing it did. Whether it was big enough for a coon to get in, I don't know. But yeah, by all accounts, Brandy looked pretty good early. He looked good late, so maybe he can get her in tonight. Oh uh, yeah. Chris Saunders' little jip is by all accounts a good one. Um you'll see. You'll see on Tuesday. Maybe you'll see before she gets in these finals. We'll be live. And uh, maybe we can bring her to you. But, yeah, I, I know she's she's super accurate. Um, she's made, I think, two or, th or four trees here with four cones so far. Gets her in Monday night. Uh, Chris was down here visiting with me earlier. She's got – he's just been loafing. He's enjoying his getting in on Monday and then hanging out. So good to see Chris. Good to see him get in. And uh, – Congrats to him. Good luck to him the rest of the way. Uh, cast 103, we have Dual Murphy with Heather Island Long Range Lucky or Luck. Uh, 125 plus. He was the score, uh, or that was his score, and he is your winner there in cast three. That is a senior cast. He had Elvin Lingaker, Jared Wilgus, and Flat Rock Little Bit with Bobby Burden. Uh, looks like uh lucky or luck i'd have to look at that to see exactly what they call that dog but uh circle tree out of the truck uh took a strike minus for 25 and then went tree to coon for 25 and 125 and that was enough to get him advanced into that late round uh jared wilgus he took some minus and withdrew uh same way with lingaker and burden and so dual murphy congratulations to duel uh good dog man there, always in the winner's circle so Hard to keep guys like that out. Uh, cast one out of Claremont, Adam French, your judge there. Uh, that is Bad Company, Daisy, Blaine Vance, Hardeman's $1,000 stack, Adam French, 10 Cup, Alvis Kaufman, and Punches, Super Cord, uh, Devin Gilbert. And it is Super Cord, uh, bringing home the W there, 325 plus, uh, 50, 125 on a coon, 25 and 125 on a coon. Uh, looks like 10 cup had 225 on a coon and 25 and 25 on a coon for 275 with Alvis and Adam and Blaine both withdrew. Looks like stack tree to slick. Um, Daisy got struck for 25 and then no other call was made on her. Uh, cast two, Timothy Chaffin is your judge there. That is Piper that he's handling. Um, Show Walter with Butterface. <laughs> That's a good name. Uh, Chris Frazier with Sue and Stephen Basham with Star. Uh, looks like it is Chris Frazier and Sue, your winner there. 100 and 125 on the only coon she treed. Star did tree a coon for 50 and 125, as did Piper uh, for 75 and 125. Uh, give Piper a score for 200. Uh, Sue 225 and Star 175, Butterface 25 and 125 on a circle tree and withdrawn. Uh, cast three in the juniors. Uh, Jeremy Kidd was your judge there, and he is also your winner 375 plus. Uh, treat two coons looks like the dog looked pretty good, and they treat several coons. Uh, Uncle Joe JC Albright he treated a coon for 25 and 125. Uh, Girls Rodeo Cowboy Blake. Uh, he had two coons treed for 300. I was talking to Waylon Morell about that dog earlier today too. And he said, that is a accurate, accurate, accurate dog. And he said, when you walk to him, he's just about guaranteed to always have a coon. He looked good last night too. Had a score of 300, treed two coons by himself, but it was not enough. He is beat on strike out of the truck. Uh, letting loose. Huey, Jeremy Kidd is your winner there, 100 and 125 plus, and 25 and 125 plus for a score 375. Uh, Jeff Stollard was also in that cast with Hillbilly. Hillbilly looked good, treat two coons, but also treat a minus tree. And so, yeah, they scored on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coons. And that is the junior super stakes cast right there out of Shelburne, Indiana. Jeremy Kidd was the judge. Nathan Trench was your guy there. I bet somebody's. Hoping for that guy to get in tonight. Uh, your last late round from last night, we have 
Max, Al, Ellie, and James Harry are your winners. 25 and 125 on a coon, 25 and 125 on a coon for a final score of 300 plus. Uh, looks like Jason Russell and Scar treat some circle trees. Uh, Loudmouth Millie with Michael Dominey uh, treat a coon and then took a took a uh, tree minus. And then Super Sport treat a den. And that was just about a wrap there. James Harry and Maxed Out Ellie. So those are your Monday winners. And that has got to be a good feeling for these guys. Pressure's off the rest of the week. Uh, they advance till Friday. That's when you call your friends, family, partners, tell them get on out here, get ready for the picture, because you are going to get it taken. And uh, yeah, it's hard to double up. It's hard to double up the world hunt. We've talked about that before, you know, nationals, uh, super stakes, everything. And you see, you know, people think, and it used to be this way. Uh, you used to go out and say, you know, I'm just hunting the one-year-olds. I got a dog that maybe tree one coon and stay out of trouble or not. It's not like that anymore. Man, some of these one-year-old casts are are dynamite, and the two-year-olds are dynamite. They're in coons. They're in good spots, and you got to have a dog that will tree them. And as you can see from the scores, the vast majority of these, these dogs had to tree two coons to win. And the ones that treed one coon to win usually were carrying that hunter strike out of the truck. So, yeah, it's tough to win. Tough to win everywhere, but it's it's tough to win even out here as a sophomore in the super stakes uh going through some of the interesting uh cast matchups tonight in the early round uh i'm looking at cast and the sophomores i'm looking at cast one that's going to be a good one you got dick brothers there with charlie creek smooth as silk another charlie creek dog dick brothers of course a living legend in the sport um world champion has multiple good stud dogs multiple good dogs so Dick is out here hunting silk. Uh, he's got, you know, Justin Davenport hunting the the drive axle. Mason Bush is in there with Rodeo Cinch and Hillbilly Stylish Clover, Shawnee Knowles. That'll be a good one. Uh, that'll be a fun cast. Some good handlers there and some good guys. I got a couple buddies. They drew each other tonight. You look at Neosha River Roman. He lost late last night. J.R. Wall, uh, right turn Clyde, Jim Michael. He lost late last night. Um, so you know, now you're running into, you know, or the dog's tired, which usually on Tuesday night, even after a late round and going back out, it ain't a big deal. But Wednesday, Thursday, uh, if you've lost a couple late rounds, you got a fatigued dog and you're hunting against the guy. Some guys show up Wednesday and Thursday and that's it. And so you're hunting to get some fresh dogs on Wednesday, Thursday. So you really want to try to get them in as fast as possible, get them a break. I've always said Tuesday or Wednesday is about the best night to get in. Then you don't have to, uh, you know, a lot of these guys that get in Monday, I was talking to Chris and he's going to try to find a place to go, go turn, go turn flesh loose, you know, either tomorrow night or Thursday night, you know, just to loosen her up, keep her hunted up, you know, four nights sitting out there tied up at the motel or in the dog box or something like that's a little much for him. So there's a fine line there between being too tired and being a little stale. Um, one, one thing we did want to mention, cause we're missing I didn't get all the cards, but I noticed last night that uh, some really good ones got in, too. Uh, you look at Dustin Weed. Uh, he's in without. Uh, J.R. Gray is in with Scarlet. Uh, the other Scarlet, Scarlet Thread, Billy Bell. That dog is, that, that's wild. Uh, he won the sophomore Super Stakes with her. Got in the finals with the Junior state, junior Super Stakes with her. And he doubles her up Monday night, first night uh, again this year. Uh, so, yeah, that that's that's something. You know, you you look at a dog and you don't see Billy packing this dog anywhere. Very rarely. I don't think I've ever, and he may have. I'll have to talk to Billy tomorrow or something about that. But the only time you see her is at Super Stakes. <laughs> She's always in the finals. <laughs> so that's crazy uh like as we've already talked about uh the other cast in that but just something i wanted to mention there because them things it's not easy to do and then billy just comes out here with the same dog that he just picks up four super stakes and does it every year uh in the juniors another dog i mentioned in wayland pierce 
uh, Willie's Trump train. He gets in last night. Uh, he had a score of 175. He drew Rackety Ralph with uh, Van Cleek and the Plague with Ryan Sears. Now, the Plague is a dog I've hunted with, and that dog's really, really good dog. Uh, I was bragging on Trump, you know, yesterday uh, with Waylon. Uh, I didn't realize he was that young when I hunted with him last winter. And uh, he's the real deal. And then it ain't like Van Cleek was packing junk. Rackety Ralph dominated in the early round. Tree three coons had to score like 675 or something crazy. And uh, just just annihilated the whole cast. I know that's a dog that Kevin Cable had sold. And uh, by all accounts, a real good one. And so congratulations on Waylon on him getting in. Uh, Amon Marner, Tom Petty, he also gets in. He's a winner over Kevin, Kevin Cable Jr. in Breaking the Bank and Acre Southern Charm, Joey Fuller. And then maxed out Ellie, James Rayburn. Uh, he wins over Jason Russell, Michael Dominey, and Kenyon Presley. I believe we, we talked about her. But yeah, those are the cards I did not have. I think there might be some more in the sophomores. I'll check real quick. Uh, yeah, Casey Kirkham, uh, in the Ocean River Fatty. That is a J.R. Wall dog. Uh, Casey Kirkham on out here all the way from Kansas. And so congratulations on him getting in. He gets in over Jimmy Michael and Right Turn Clyde. And then uh, Donnie Curry and Dalton Holland. And, yeah, me and Maxine, Jason Martin, he gets in over Sammy Raines, Kevin Phillips, and Philip Collison. And, yeah, I think that's racks up or that finishes up all the cards i didn't have so yeah good matchups good dogs uh super stakes week is always a special week and uh these guys these guys are going for it uh you look at the seniors i have not looked to see who jed drew yet and we also we got to make sure and mention uh, the greatest name in dog sports, and that is Wildcat Margaret Snatcher, <laughs> handled by Garrett Major, owned by Matt Logan. I know Matt texted me today and said, hey, you better give me a shout out. There's Finley calling right now. What, Finley? Hey. Yeah. Next time, next time you see Bud, Bud. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hey, before you do this, you're on the live stream right now. <laughs> Hey, nah. <laughs> you don't want to say it then? No. <laughs> uh, hey, who'd you draw? I got Chuck Wells. Uh, who else is there? I'll tell you just a second. All right. Chuck Wells, Kevin Mitchell, and Zachary Turner. All right. Well, good luck. And you can tell me about the Bud Hood story whenever we're not live. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get kicked out but... All right. Sounds good. All right, I'll call you when I'm done. All right, good luck. All right, I don't know if you could hear that, but Finley's not fit for the live feed, so I had to make sure and tell him. I probably should have just let him keep going. That would have even been better. But the minute I said oh, he was on the live stream, he shut it down, so it must not have been family-friendly, would be my guess. All right, let's get back into these matchups. We got Wildcat Margaret Snatcher, Matt Logan, Garrett Major. Uh, he's got Kenny Tresh. He's got Lone Wolf with Casey Stollard and Hickory's Raindrop, Joshua Rudder. That'll be a good one. Uh, we do got uh, Speck. Of course, Speck lost late. He, he's got uh, with Zach Burden. Uh, he's got a good cast there. You got Johnny Watkins with Gunner, uh, Kyle Dodd with Rock and R Blue Ranger. That's Kevin Rash Dog, Blue Tick, of course. And then Gypsy with John Langston. Uh, you talk about Wipeout Tank 2. Here's an interesting uh, development, too. Four-time Floyd is being handled by Gene Driggers. That's a new one on me. And he's got Wipeout Tank 2, Joey Craver, uh, Virus, Willis Martindale, and Rack 'em Up, Ben Cody Morrows. Uh, we talked about Grand River Trump earlier. Of course, he's the loser late. Uh, Jess Dickerson, Rusty Jones. Rusty's got the real Willie, Braden Jones, Christopher Williams with Little Johnny and Stroker, Davey Newland Jr. And as Finley just mentioned, uh, he's got Chuck Wells again. He had Chuck Wells last night with Glendy. 
and uh, wipe out Tomahawk, Kevin Mitchell, and Zach Turner with Game Changer. Uh, you look down, you see Set Him Up B again, Brad Mitchell. That's a real quality dog. Spencer Anderson, of course, he's going to be packing a good one. And then Colin Stubbs from up there in Iowa with Neosha River Slim. They all drew each other along with Jared Wilgus and Coon Zapper. So, yeah, you're going through these, and some of these matchups, you know, some of them are guys I'm not familiar with, and then some of them look like, you know, a Pro Sport Truck Series final. <laughs> you never can tell. Uh, Blake Robertson with Twisted Sister. He's got Chris Ford, Gary Turner, and Justin Hicks. And uh, that's going to be a good cast. Uh, Moss Hill picking up sticks. Lost late last night. Uh, you remember him at the World Hunt. Uh, he got deep into the World Hunt. Lost, made just about every late round. And it took him a little while to get in. He may pull that thing off again. You know, that's a good young dog right there. He's got Christian Lazuski with Banks Miss America. Swift Trick, Matthew Nesbitt. And looks like Heather Island Rip, Tomiko Johnson. So, yeah, good matchups. Going through some of them now, and some of them are pretty interesting. But the thing about Super Stakes is you just never can tell. Uh, it can be, you know, it's a lot of the same old guys. You see these 